Hello, my Raging Omelets, and welcome to Hearthstone 101. Descent of Dragons has been an interesting expansion so far. Front and center, we've got five versions of Galakron with all new deck strategies, but one particular version has proven to be the most controversial. If you've played at all over the past month, you know Galakron Shaman proved to be so problematic that four nerfs, three targeted directly at Shaman, are in place barely two weeks into the expansions, but we'll get into that in a bit. So what's the big deal? One of three legendaries offered in the Descent of Dragon Shaman set, Galakron the Tempest is a hero card. It costs seven mana, and so many things happen at once when you play it from your hand that I'm just gonna start a counter. You get five armor, which is roughly a one mana play. That's hot. A battle cry is triggered, summoning two elementals, each worth two mana, with two two stats and rush. That's hot. Your hero power upgrades to Galakron's Fury, which summons a two mana elemental with two attack, one health, and rush. That's hot. And finally, Galakron's battle cry is added to the pool of battle cries played so far. Jaws that fight. We'll get to you later. Sounds pretty tame so far, to be sure, but we haven't talked about the new keyword invoke. Limited to a very small pool of cards, any invoke for Shaman will summon a 2-1 rush elemental, which is pretty dangerous since it interacts with your opponent's board immediately. Also, once you invoke twice, Galakron the Tempest will go through an evolution. The first upgrade is called Galakron the Apocalypse. In this new form, the two storms double their stats, and now we've got a really solid battle cry. But wait, invoke two more times, and you'll upgrade into Galakron, Azeroth's end, and the stats on your storms double again, clocking in at 8 8 apiece. This is nuts! And we have one more goodie to add to the mix. A 5 attack, 2 durability weapon, it's basically a neutral version of Arcanite Reaper. Add in the two 8-8 bodies with Rush and you'll start to see why Galakron the Tempest is on everyone's radar. That's 21 mana worth of stuff from a 7 mana card. It's a tidal wave of value, which is extremely difficult to overcome. In theory, to keep Galakron decks in check, you have to include the neutral invoke cards, like Shield of Galakron and Devoted Maniac. Also, any Galakron deck has 12 automatic selections. That's 40% of your deck gobbled up right out the gate, limiting deck space for whatever other toys you want to include. Thus far, four of the five Galakron versions have been pretty good and not problematic. But with Shaman, woo boy, where do I even begin? Invocation of Frost is a direct power creep of Glacial Shard, which when it was around saw plenty of play. Windswept Elementals have Rush, making the impact of Galakron's Fury immediate and frequent. Corrupted Elementalist is the only card in the game to invoke Galakron twice, and makes getting Azeroth's end ridiculously easy. Dragon's Pack feeds directly off that and effectively reads, summon two 5-6 wolves with taunt for 5 mana. For reference, that's roughly two Lords of the Arena, and let's throw an Electra Storm Surge for good measure. Add in Corrupt the Waters, which is in the Year of the Dragon and will be with us next year propping up Galakron's power, and now you're starting to get an idea of why Galakron Shaman shaped the meta so quickly. Yeah! And I didn't even get into Shutterwalk, which creates a second tidal wave of 8-8 elementals and another claw. As you can guess, all of this power is a bit much, and players haven't been too happy, hence the nerfs. End Verdict, the Tempest itself is, to say the obvious, an amazing, rock-solid, meta-defining card. But I also feel like it gets at least some undue hate. Sure, it's the centerpiece of a deck that broke the game for a few weeks, but the central design of the Tempest is pretty good. It's the support for this card that's the problem, and wasn't well thought out. That's it for Galakron the Tempest. Let me know what you'd like me to cover next in the comments below. Until next time, this is Raging Amish, checking out.